channel for today's video I'm going to be talking about the top three mistakes that I have made as an equestrian and things that I would definitely do differently I just hope that this can help anybody kind of avoid the same problems that I had to deal with and things that I wish I could change if I could go back when I was in seventh grade I was in the process of getting my own horse and I had been riding for a couple years by this point and I remember my mom and I were basically going to be sharing a horse and we went to go try out this off the track thoroughbred mare. I instantly just like fell in love with this horse. I don't know how to explain it but I was like that is my horse. I just I know it. I can feel it in my bones and my mom had the same exact feeling like we both felt really connected to this horse. We were there to test ride her and my mom rode her first and let's just say that this mare did not have any training <laughs> like at all none i guess after she had stopped racing she never really did anything like nobody ever gave her training in any sort of discipline and for years she was basically just a pasture horse and here we were getting on her thinking that she had you know at least a little bit of training and she didn't <laughs> and i actually ended up having my second fall ever um, during that test ride i felt very scared when i got on her and i remember like my mom telling me you don't have to get on her if you don't feel comfortable and i was like no like i don't want to chicken out like i want to at least ride her i got on her and i'm pretty sure like she could probably sense my nerves and Again, she didn't have any training, so she just kind of took off the second I got my feet in the stirrups, and I just went right over the side, and I kind of like fell to the left, and I like fell towards the fence. Thank God I was wearing a helmet because I did hit my head against the fence, and it was just not the best uh, test ride experience. My mom took me to the chiropractor like right after that happened because I was having really bad back issues during this time. And so I was going to a chiropractor like once a week and my mom was scared that I like did something to my back when I fell. So I remember like we rushed home so she could take me to the chiropractor. <laughs> but guess what? We bought the horse anyway. <laughs> like I, Looking back on it, I'm like, why did we think that was a good idea? I honestly don't know. My mom had this idea of like, okay, we can train her, we can hire a trainer, and like, it'll be fine. She was already 12 years old, and it was kind of late to start training her in something. Like, she just, I mean, we had her for I think like a year, maybe a little bit over a year, and um, just like nothing stuck with her. One of the trainers that I had told me and my mom that like her training was basically not going anywhere, she wasn't progressing, but my advice to anybody out there, if you have, if you test ride a horse and maybe it doesn't go the best, think it through before you just decide to buy the horse because by the time we had bought her, we were like already in love with her. I thought that horse was going to be in my life forever and I was so upset when we had to give her back to her previous owner. We kind of just ignored all of the red flags and decided to buy her anyway and like she was the sweetest horse on the ground. Like if she loved being groomed and like I basically for a year couldn't even really ride her. I would just groom her, give her baths, I would walk her around the property and turn her out but I, I couldn't get on her because she didn't have any training and it was very dangerous for me to get on her. Don't buy a horse just because you feel a special connection with them. It goes deeper than that. My second mistake was hiring a mobile trainer. I don't want to like say that all mobile trainers are terrible because I'm sure that's not the case. I'm sure there's some great trainers that are out there, but personally, the mobile trainer we hired was just kind of off. I don't even know where we found this guy. Um, but my mom hired him to come out to the barn and train Willow and it was just not pretty. We told him like what we wanted out of her and like I ride English so I wanted to be able to jump her eventually but I, 
I didn't want her jumping right away because I felt like there was a lot of groundwork and a lot of manners and stuff that she had to learn first. And basically this trainer that we hired um, would come out to the barn and just get on her and run her in circles. She never really progressed because of that. And there was also a couple times where I like told him, like, I, I don't want you jumping her yet because she has no jumping experience whatsoever. I don't want her getting hurt. I just, I don't want to risk that. Like, I, we need to take things slow. And he didn't listen to me and would basically just go into the arena and start jumping my horse. And I was like, okay, I literally just said I did not want that to happen, but I guess I'm just invisible. My mom was telling him the same thing that I was telling him. like. We do not want her jumping yet. She needs to learn flat work. She needs to learn so many different things before we start taking her over jumps. He would say, okay, and then he would go and jump her. And it's just like, uh, that's not what we are paying you for. <laughs> I'm the type of person where I can't say no to people. Like I'm really bad at saying no and being confrontational. Like I would rather just stay quiet and not say what I'm thinking. But I really wish in that situation, like, uh, that I had just said something and been like, okay, no, like I don't want you riding her anymore if this is how it's gonna go because we just told you we don't want you jumping and now you're jumping her. A lot of trainers have like their own process and they do things at their own pace. I'm not saying like go out and confront your trainer if things aren't getting done right away, but if you can tell that something is not right, like I did with this guy, um, like don't be afraid to say, hey, this is not how I want things done. My last mistake that I'm going to talk about in this video uh, was letting somebody who was very inexperienced take my thoroughbred on a trail ride. Um, I actually did a story time about this and I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to watch it. Basically my former stepdad took my horse out on a trail ride one day and um, my horse was not a trail horse. He had been on a couple trail rides like I had taken him on like really short trail rides and he was always great, but for some reason, like, my horse just did not like guys. Also, my stepdad put a western saddle on him, which my horse had never had on his back before, and it was just a recipe for disaster. Basically, my horse ended up splitting his forehead open, and I posted, like, photos and videos of it in the story time if you want to see, like, what it looked like. I think I did a before and after photo. Our vet told us that he was surprised our horse even survived the accident because he had tree bark in his skull and it was just a very terrible accident. Um, Kenny, my horse, was at like a, like a veterinary clinic for like two and a half weeks and he had a long road of recovery after that and it just was not worth it. Like that whole situation could have been avoided if I had just told my stepdad no, I don't want you taking him out on trail, or no, like, you cannot put a western saddle on him. Unfortunately, I was a child and I had no authority and I couldn't tell my stepdad, no, don't do this, because in reality, like, you know, he's the adult in the situation. It was just terrible and I really wish that I could have at least said something to him. So those are my top three mistakes that I'm going to mention in today's video. I have plenty more. I've made plenty of mistakes in the past. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe down below and check out my story time videos and all the other vlogs I have on my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.